Okay, so the pre previous video we said that we're going to look at how gravity, motion of the fluid and surface um, effects, surface uh, tension, surface curvature effects pressure. Okay, and as you can see this chapter, uh, sorry, this subsection focuses on uh, pressure. I mean, sorry, gravity and pressure, of course. Okay, so we're focusing on that first one here. So let's look at um, atmospheric pressure, just the pressure in the atmosphere, the the pressure in the air that's surrounding the Earth. Um, gases are compressible, so air is compressible. And because air is compressible, it means that the the air particles above the surface of the Earth are not uh, distributed uniformly. So what do we mean by that? So if this is the surface of the Earth, then you close to the Earth you're going to have lots of particles, right? And then as you get further away, they're going to be spread out more, right? And then less and less. So the density of the particles decreases as you increase, increase your height, right? Okay, so what does this tell us? Um, mass density is high near sea level. Okay, so this is sea level, so the density is high. And it is lower above sea level. It gets lower. The density gets lower. Okay. Now, this uh, is uh, the nonlinear curve of how atmospheric pressure changes based on sea um, of height above sea level um, because this is the this is the important thing because the density of air is not constant right it's not constant the density of air changes as you move high above sea level um, this this uh, altitude or height above sea level versus atmospheric um, pressure, this curve is not linear. Okay? If it were linear, it would be like this. Okay? And this would be a graph for a fluid if uh, that has constant density. Constant density. But the density is not constant, so it does this. It has this non-linear curve. Okay? So, if it was linear, then at say half at 50 kilopascal okay half the the pressure at sea level would be occurring at roughly 15 kilometers but it's not uh 50 at half the pressure um, of sea level is occurring at roughly five and a half kilometers okay so just notice that this is we've spoken about it before that this is a non-linear curve all right Okay, and as you can see, when it gets to about 30 kilometers and above, pressure is practically zero. Pressure is practically zero over there. Okay. So hopefully my waffling has made sense. Okay, so the last thing is just for, for interest sake. Um, an airplane an airplane flies at uh, cruising altitude is 10, roughly 10 kilometers. So if we go across and we hit this graph over here and we come down we can see that this is approximately say 25 kilopascal okay so the an airplane is flying at a uh, at an altitude where the pressure is about a quarter of what you get at sea level okay all right hope my waffling didn't confuse you too much